Welcome back. We're looking at the Porsche menu book challenge where we have to be 650 pp or less. We did a video previously on tuning and now we're going to do a race and see how it handles. And shut the door on us there a bit. But then we have no right to go for that position all the way, so. It seems we've got a bit of pace, but we're not massively faster than everyone else. That's probably due to the additional weight we're carrying from the ballast though which will be hurting us but the handling is pretty good because we've got our brakes upgrades suspension flywheel basically everything we could put on it we've done obviously driving school comes into this as well and there'll be many people out there who are better than I am at this I'm just playing on a controller a little bit of a slide. But as you can see, we are catching with not too great a difficulty on this. So if you've been struggling to tune your Porsche for this menu book, this is quite an easy way to do it. If you don't want to spend hours and hours and hours on tweaking things. But then for some people that's where a lot of the fun resides. Tweak your setup, race it, tweak it again, race it. I'm sure you can spend hours doing that. But if you just want to blitz through the challenge, then this seems to be working. And as I said before, I'm not exactly the best driver, far from it. We've got five laps, we're on lap two. Started 16th, we're now sixth. And we are catching the pack ahead. There you go, we've got the fastest sector. So we should win this race quite comfortably. The leading pack always get a good start due to the rolling start. So you have to chase them down. They got a bit out of shape on that corner, didn't they? As we did there. Front three have run away from everyone else, haven't they? I thought we were going to run out of road that, but we're okay. Now this car has a tendency to slide a little now with all the ballast we've added. A little off there. Oops. So yeah, if you're carrying the speed through the corners, that's the only thing that I will say to watch out for. You might want to do some throttle management because the rear end does like to step out a little. Okay. 
two more laps. Let's see if we can get ahead of these three. Oh dear. I'm sure a lot of you will do much better than this. Especially if you're on a wheel. I do love that the AI make mistakes. It makes them just feel a bit more human. Okay, we're up to third, chasing down second. Nice and easy on the straights. We've definitely got the top speed. Ooh, a little slow on the exit. Went off there on the last lap as well. Oops. But, even with our mistakes that we've made, you can see that the win is in our sights. Try and pick up a slipstream on him here. Slipstream now. Couldn't quite outbreak him, but that's okay. We'll have him along here. I got a little bit close for comfort. Maybe should have waited for the main straight. Now it's a case of just keeping him behind until the checkered flag. Kept it on the road that time, which we didn't do on the previous two laps. So as a recap, we're on sports soft tyres. We've got the full 200 kilograms of ballast, which makes us slide a little. But as you can see, it gets us into the lead. And we can open up a bit of a gap now, provided we don't make any major mistakes.
Ooh. Bit of a twitch on the exit. That wasn't very comfortable. But when you've got a car this quick, it allows you to have that cushion where you can make mistakes and not run a perfect race and still win it. He says as he crashes into a wall. <laughs> Typical. And there we have it, that is how you win in the Porsche menu book challenges.